millennials. Uh, but God has something to say to the church at large, which is all of us. If you're here, you're the church. And uh, Daryl Spearman is going to bring us that word. Amen. Amen. Daddy, thank you for your goodness. So um, I actually had a dream that I won't go into much, but in the dream, uh, a passage came up that my first two points actually sort of touch on, but is Mark 3. Please read it. Please check it out. And please just look into it because there's a lot that God is doing just in that particular sphere. And I'll cover some of those things uh, here. And so uh, my first point is that accusations will come, uh, but as the body of Christ, we will have success as we lean on to God for wisdom and understanding. And we need to pray for those that will find themselves under fire because there will be those that will come under fire and <laughs> there's wisdom needed. Um, also, we're going to step into the positioning that God has for us in his body as things are being restructured, and we're to start moving. And I heard uh, that we're being set up for blessing. Amen. And my third point is, it's time to give encouragement and build a bridge for Jesus to encounter those that would be heirs of salvation of Christ. <laughs> Sons and daughters, it's time to arise and waken because now it is time to follow after the wisdom of what it is that I'm saying. Even as there are accusations that are made against you, you will have great success. Even as you le lean on me and, and have my heart towards my people, you will begin to see me begin to move on your behalf and speak through your lips. Because even where it would seem like man would try to trip you up, even over your very words, you will begin to speak words that will confuse the enemy and it will dumbfound those that would like to accuse you. And this is a time to begin to pray for those that are under fire on, in my body. Pray that they will have wisdom and pray that the body of Christ will grow from the, from the experience of those that even fall over the the next few months and and this is a time to step into the positioning that I've called you to because many of many of you have been stagnant and you've been sitting and you've become almost sick in the place where you've been but as you begin to move and trust me for, for where I will send you you will have favor you will have, see my glory revealed through your life and even through your hands because I desire to heal through your hands and speak through your lips and even as you begin to speak this month there's a word of encouragement that will begin to bubble up and even as you speak those words people will come into the identity of who it is that I called them to be and they'll have an experience with me so don't discount your words this month and don't discount the restructuring that I'm doing within the body this is a time to make sure that you're in position to move forward because as you move forward you will have favor and you will see my blessing I command my blessing in the place called there so as you move in the place that I'm calling you to go and even into the positioning that I'm calling you to go to job wise and even ministry wise some of you need to go outside of the four walls of the church and be a blessing where it is that I planted you stop complaining about where it is that you're 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 currently positioned start seeking the opportunities that are in the place where I placed you and as you have my perspective as you have my mindset for where it is that I've planted you I will uplift you and take you to the next level because your play the the appreciation that comes out of your lips will make place and will make room for you so this is a time to not be stagnant but to move forward in the purpose and with the power and the glory of God and as you do you will see people shaken you will see this nation shaken you will see your churches shaken some of you are, ha, have been say, requiring out saying God when will you change my church when will you stir up revival in my body haven't I made you hands haven't I made you feet you speak and be a blessing in the place where I've planted you, and you will see my spirit move like never before. 